Happy Friday. Okay, no, I'm going to be honest with you. It is not Friday right now. It is late Thursday on a very dark afternoon. But I'm busy and cannot do tomorrow. So I'll put it out on Friday. And I'm holding an old watered-down Diet Coke with lime, which is also a favorite. So is the Tervis Tumbler. It is held in because I like these glasses with nothing on them. Notice, nothing on them. I notice Publix is now carrying them. Thank you, Publix. No coffee this afternoon. Let's get into it. This week, I had to go up to the shopping center close by and get something really quite beautiful. What? Pam, you got something from Tiffany? Oh my gosh. Don't get so excited. Even though that's a favorite bag of mine, I needed a really thin, the silver necklace. It was $65. I, it, I needed something longer. So that is a favorite. But what it had me doing when I got back, the guy said, would you like a box? Would you like a bag? Well, gosh, yes, sir. Sure. I could have just stuck it in my purse. Well, yes. I got it home, and of course, being the color-minded person I am, I am like, I need to find out what color blue that is. Because I guessed what it was in Sherwin-Williams, but I'm like, I want to see what it is in Benjamin Moore. And here was the winning color, and I actually took a photo of this. And it is... Are you ready? That's how you do it? The winner is Burbank Blue. 732. And you're going, well, why do I care about that, Pam? You just matched up a Tiffany box to the... Because there are some colors that when you, especially us girls, every once in a while you go, ooh, what color is that? Who got something in that blue box, right? And I want to show what pink color that was. But I had this idea going, you know what would be really cute, like in a young girl's bathroom or like maybe like teenage age, is like a Tiffany looking bathroom. But you wouldn't do it that bright, but it would have to be a very small bathroom that has a ton of white in it, white fluffy towels, white robe. And so I thought the muted version of that, as I started looking, was like, I'm looking and I'm like, speaking of Friday favorites, two side by side, Boca Raton Blue and Ocean City Blue, two of my favorite places to have vacationed over the many, many years. Those are my favorites. And when I say Ocean City, I do not mean Maryland. I mean New Jersey. So that is that. Next is I, this week, and for a long time now, have been obsessed with cowhide print. Love this. This one's actually, you know, the fake furry type. Love that look. Love it on an ottoman. I do not have an ottoman in my area to use it on. But I thought, you know what, I'm going to do a toss pillow. And it was actually in my idea, my head for a client. And then I went, you know what? I want one of those. That's a great idea. And I'm going to back it like with linen, like my couch, and maybe put, you know, leather type thing around the edge. Not to look Western. I'm not a Western person. And if you are, great. But because this look great, like Colorado style. But um, this is more just a little pop. Just a little bit, but I noticed the fur on the back, not fur, but whatever it is, on the back of this is kind of taupey like my, not taupey, oatmeal-y like my couch. So, loving this this week. This one's called Palomino. This one's called, I don't remember. I usually tend to do the darker. Depends, depends on the job. I showed you guys that we were at our storage locker cleaning that out last week. Locker, unit, whatever it's called. And I had a couple big comforters that I were in there. I can't remember how we stored them, but I'm like, I have to get them flat under a bed. And a lot of you probably use these. I have before too, but they work. That was just at Walmart. Those bags that you flatten out with a vacuum cleaner and you suck it up and it turns nice and flat. I freaking love these. So I just got one for that because I am finding that I'm just getting rid of a lot of stuff and I'm not having to store as much as I thought. Key, key, if you're thinking about doing that yourself. The other thing is a box arrived this week at my door the other day for a client because she noticed, I think she noticed that otherwise she wouldn't have asked me for it. Do you see in my picture, I can't take this off the wall, I have that hanging thing. I'm going to point like that. It's right there <laughs> underneath the clock. Um, I needed extra glasses space because my cabinets, I don't have many kitchen cabinets. So uh, it's called the Holman Shelf from Pottery Barn. 
It comes in all different colors. Uh, it even comes in kind of a rustic wood now that's kind of a pretty brown wood. For this client, here's my tip. I had to kind of go with their dining room furniture a little bit. We were putting it back near like a cocktail cart. So I wasn't doing white, I wasn't doing black. It was just more to go with. So think of that too. I'm not trying to matchy match, but I'm not trying to create like a white kitchen shelf in a little more formal dining room. So she is gonna get the actually, this arrived at my door. Yeah, uh-huh, that's right. So that is yours, they're all, you know who you are. Uh, but I love that and I, I use it a lot. And I, there's a wine shelf too to go with it and that's fine. Um, I tend to like those more in like more, like drink bar areas, that's not really a bar, it's just extra glasses. So just have it make sense. Because to me, I wouldn't store wine out here in the living room. That's just me. Again, that's the logical design thing. I would put it near our little wine chiller thing, which will probably be one of my favorites because it's so narrow. I'll save that. Lastly, uh, beauty product. Well, well, well. I have like two or three this week, but I'm just going to do one. One of you on my uh, wall last week, I keep doing that because I'm wearing higher shoes. Yeah, uh-huh. Um, because I'm going out because it's not morning. So I just want to be honest with you. This is not Friday morning. It's Thursday afternoon. So um, it's Palmer's, which I've heard of before, and I know some of you have too, but skin therapy oil. One of you put that bio oil thing on my wall last week, and it was... Uh, it looked really good. It was a little more expensive than I wanted to spend. I'm like, I'm just going to try this and just see. And sure enough, it does the exact same thing. But I love it, especially in bare arms in the summer. I just put that in since they don't make Copper Tone 2 anymore. Ha! Huh. I'm saying that like I'm kidding, but I actually used to like Copper Tone 2 just for that. Just for that. So, um, but it has the nicest scent. It smells like, and I cannot put my finger on it, I want to say like, clover leaf. Does that have a smell? But it's just very fresh and light. So I like that too. When you have excess on your thing, I just did it when I was just doing that. Just pull it on your hair. Who cares? Right? I'm actually out of breath. I think from going up and down this one step. So yeah. Um, have a fantastic Thursday afternoon or Friday morning or weekend. I am going to see some old friends that I'm excited to see. And by old, I mean great. Okay? I hate old, my old friends, like old, O-L-E, my old friends, okay? So um, you have a fantastic weekend and happy, happy day to you.